it's teacher Linda and today's story is one of my childhood favorite it's about a child her name is Kathy I look at this picture I think she kind of looks sad do you think she looks sad I'm looking at the expression on her face like the shape of her eyebrows and her mouth let's see what she looks like on the next page how do you think she looks on this page I think she looks mad now expression on her face her eyes her eyebrows are straight and her mouth is definitely not anything close to a smile she's got her hands on her hips I'd say she's mad what do you think she's in an interesting outfit these are her slippers and this is a nightgown you know why she's mad she is mad because she has to go to bed every night at 7 30. do any of you go to bed at 7 30. well let's read the book and find out why she doesn't like to go to bed at 7 30 and what she decides to do about it once upon a time there was a girl named kathy who didn't like to go to bed she especially didn't like to go to bed before midnight most especially she didn't like to go to bed at 7 30 every night which was the time that her parents made her go to bed. Every evening at two minutes after seven o'clock, her mother would stand at the door of their house and say, Kathy, time to come home and get ready for bed. And Kathy would have to stop whatever she was doing. And this was one of my favorite parts of the book. It has these flaps. Look, that's one of the things that Kathy didn't want to have to stop doing. She was playing with her friend. Look how sad she is to leave. She's playing a game called Jax. She would have to stop baking dandelion seeds or stop playing with her best friend, or stop being the number one movie star in all the world. Or she'd have to stop right in the middle of Seveners in Hopscotch. Or stop dreaming pink and white daydreams which was what she did most of the time one day as she was walking home to go to bed after thinking about joining the circus as a tightrope walker baking cookies with her mother being a kindergarten teacher or becoming a nurse for her sick kitty. She had an idea. She would go to bed. She would go right to bed. She wouldn't even say, I don't want to go to bed. But then once she got into bed, she would start to annoy her parents. And maybe Kathy decided if she annoyed them enough, they'd let her stay up until midnight, or at least till eight o'clock every night. So Kathy quickly took a bath, brushed her teeth, kissed her parents, even blew a goodnight kiss to her little brother. <laughs> and went right to bed. Kathy snuggled under her pink and white flowered blanket and then she started. First, she said, I want a glass of water. And then my pigtails feel too bumpy on my head. And then she said, I think there's a tiger in my room. Mommy, does the Statue of Liberty have a birthday party? 
Daddy, it's too cold in here. Brr, oops. Daddy, it's too hot in my room. Brr, it's too cold in my room. And finally, Kathy's mother came into her room and said, Kathy, I do believe you're trying to annoy us. And Kathy stuffed her pillow into her mouth to keep from laughing out loud because it was true. She was trying to annoy her parents and she thought it was very funny that her mother could figure it out because Kathy didn't think her parents would figure it out at all. Then Kathy's mother said, Kathy, you really must go to sleep. What you need is a nightcap. A nightcap, asked Kathy. What in the world is a nightcap? Well, it's a cap to wear at night, explained her mommy, and it has two hands that go over your ears and keep out all the stay awake noises. You mean I won't hear anything? Kathy's eyes were wide. You won't hear anything that keeps you awake, said her mommy. Well, where will I get a nightcap, asked Kathy. And Kathy's mother showed her the one she had in her pocket. I made this just for you, Kathy, she said. And as she spoke, she put the nightcap on Kathy's head. And the two little hands came down over Kathy's ears. Then she tucked Kathy in. Kathy was just about to say, will you tell me a story? When the magic nightcap worked and Kathy fell fast asleep. The next day, Kathy told her daddy all about the wonderful nightcap, and she told her little brother. And pretty soon, everybody at Kathy's school knew about the nightcap, and everyone wanted one. But Kathy didn't think everyone should have one. Just little children who don't want to go to bed. Little children like you. It worked really well for Kathy, as you can see in this picture. I wonder if I made one, if it would work for anybody in my household. I'm going to give it a try. Well, it looks like it's working there. Worked there too. Oh, definitely working, even in front of a laptop. Oh, even for Cooper. Looks like it's really working well. I wonder if it would work for me.